All right, welcome back. And this video is gonna be something a little different. Um, I recently started shooting with the Nikon Z9 and I've been shooting some raw video with the camera. And I've also been developing my skills in DaVinci Resolve. In the past, I've been a Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro user. And I want to start to get a little bit more familiar with DaVinci so I can get better with my color grading. And I figured this would be a good opportunity to try my skills, to go ahead and try to do some color grading with these Nikon in raw video files. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna approach editing this video clip. I am definitely not uh, saying that I am a DaVinci expert. I'm definitely more in the beginner stages more than anything else. But if you've been interested in trying out DaVinci and you wanna see um, a little bit on how it works, you can see what I'm doing with this video here. All right, so I'm just gonna break this down for you, how I'm gonna edit this footage and give you a little bit of information on DaVinci Resolve if you're not very familiar with it or if you're a beginner similar to myself. So first of all, I went ahead and brought this clip in and you can see here, we have the camera raw, and I already set it up on the back end uh, to recognize um, Nikon raw under the project settings. And you can set up different raw formats. And I selected Nikon. But you see it recognizes it here. And down below for camera raw information, you see it has as shot, but I can change this to the clip and change my color temperature if I wanted to. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on project for right now. You see it's Rec 2020 and the gamma is Nikon N-Log. So I'm not going to try to export this out for HDR. So we're gonna end up converting this in this video. All right. Right now I have my vector scope open. We're gonna see how that changes over time. And that's gonna show us how our colors are basically changing. Right now we have this, you know, this log footage, well this log raw footage. And you see things are pretty flat, right? So what we're gonna end up doing is building out some nodes first, and then we're gonna adjust these nodes and you'll be able to see the difference so what I'm gonna be doing is building out a series of nodes and you will see how that affects our image over time. So I'm gonna start by uh, clicking on option S and that's gonna make a new node. I'm going to label this node. I'm gonna call it brightness because I wanna adjust this first. And now I want to make sure I'm in color, which I am. And then I want to go over ahead and I want to make sure that I'm in color first. Then I want to go over and click on my color wheels on my primaries. And I want to make some initial adjustments here. So what I'm thinking is I want to bring this up, the offset, which is going to adjust our overall brightness. Bring this up to about maybe 30. Like so. And then I want to adjust my midtones. I want to bring those down. So I'm going to adjust my gamma. And I'm going to bring that down a bit. Maybe something like this. Okay. All right. Now I 
want to go ahead and adjust my curves before I go ahead and make a new node. So I'm going to click right around here. Bring this up. Bring my brightness down there. I'm going to bring this in. All right. So I'm liking how this is starting to look. I'm going to do option S to make a new node. And now I want to adjust the grain and I want to adjust my overall shadows. Okay. We'll go over here to library, type in grain. And I'm going to drag that onto my node. You'll see the FX show up over here. I'll leave this on 16 millimeter. Bring my texture down a bit. Bring my grain size up some. Bring my softness up a little bit. And bring up my grain strength to about maybe 0.3. Okay. Now I want to go into my HDR. And I want to adjust my shadows. So I think for my shadows, I want to do something. I don't know. I don't want to bring it down too much. So let's just take a look. We'll go over here to the slider. Bring this down. Go ahead and stop. I think it looks good. All right. I like the way that's looking so far. So this is already a nice improvement over our original log footage. So I'm gonna press Command and D to turn that off so you can see what we started with here. Okay. My brightness. My grain and my shadows. Okay. So next I wanna add another node. So Alt S. And I think now I want to go ahead and do the color transform. Well, I'm going to do actually ACES. So I'm going to drag this over. Now we don't have Ari or Black Magic or anything fancy like that. So I'm just going to look for Rec 2020. Keep that on Rec 2020. And then we'll do Output Transform Rec 709. Okay. And you can already see the difference this is making. You can also look at the vector scope and see how we're getting a broader range of colors showing up on there. And the biggest thing you should be able to notice is the reds that are showing up, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and keep working on this. I think we're making some good progress. So I think the next thing I wanna focus on is, I see some noise here. So I'm gonna make another node, so Alt S. Call this NR, check for noise reduction. I'm gonna click over here under motion effects. I'm gonna change my frames to two. I'm gonna leave this on faster. This will help keep my render speed a little bit faster. Keep these linked together, my Luma and Chroma. Bring this up to about 20 or 25. Okay. So I think this is looking better. Oh yeah. 
Hopefully you can see this as well too. But it's pretty clear for me. Got rid of some of that noise that was showing up. All right. Now I'm gonna make another node, Alt S. And I want to adjust my greens a little bit. So I'm gonna make this label called green. And I'm gonna go over to Huber's Loom. I'm gonna zoom in on my greens. Now, I don't wanna make any big changes. So let's go ahead and pick this green here. And I'm gonna bring this up a little bit like that. Zoom out, do Command D. Very subtle, I like that little bit extra level of brightness there. I'm gonna do the same thing for the yellow, so Option S, call this yellow. Then we do the same thing. Now we'll go over here and pick. up a bit and look at the before and after don't want to mess with the skin tones just a little extra brightness in the yellows so that is it so if we turn all this off and we look at how things look at the very beginning you'll be able to see how it looked in the beginning versus our final look. So I'm gonna turn all this off. So that was our initial look. Okay. So there you go. And I'll go ahead and scroll through this. And you'll be able to see how this video looks. So this was from Rock Creek Park in Washington, DC. If you want to see me edit another clip from this shoot, just let me know. If you have any questions, please add them in the comments. And thanks for watching.